Wow, what a great fight on the zone. A possible fight of the year candidate. Virgil Ortiz defeats Sergey Bolacek by majority decision. This was an action packed fight, a lot of great exchanges. It looked like Virgil Ortiz was kind of dominating in power punches, but Bolacek was really durable. He was hanging in there. Ortiz was landing a lot of power shots to the head and to the body, and Bolacek was just being consistent, throwing jabs, throwing one twos. In the first round, Bolacek actually hit Virgil with the right hand, and Virgil touched the canvas, and the referee called it a slip, but they looked at a replay and later overturned it to a knockdown. Then I want to say it was in round eight. Bolacek lands a left hook that drops Virgil Ortiz for the second time. It looked like in the later rounds, Virgil Ortiz actually hurt Bolacek a couple times, but Bolchek was very durable, very tough. He stood in the pocket and he was exchanging with Virgil. Besides the two clear knockdown rounds, there was a lot of close rounds in this fight. I feel like Virgil was landing the bigger hooks, the bigger body shots, but Bolchek was being tough. He was durable. He was standing in the pocket and landing his own shots. When the scorecards came, one judge had it a draw, two had the fight for Virgil. Not his best performance by any means, but I do feel like there's still a lot of great matchups for him at 154. The Tim Zhu fight, the Terrence Crawford fight. In his post-fight interview, he called out the winner of a possible Errol Spence and Fundora fight. 